this is where we start with basic shapes. Thinking about body parts such as arms and legs and heads and torsos as forms instead of just shapes helps you align them and do things like perspective. There's no substitute for studying anatomy, muscles, bones, all mammals have muscles and bones and they're all relatively similar attaching it to the skeleton and they help you understand things that make sense of human bodies make your human bodies more believable laying in a flat color on top of the sketch helps to establish the shape, makes a nice solid shape and gives you a base so that you're not working from the white. You can start thinking about the light and the dark at the same time. by adding um, light direction like a, choosing a light source normally it's overhead sometimes it's to the left to the right but when you start to understand spheres and cubes and cones and how light falls on an object kind of like rain it allows you to start building form that's believable you go back and forth between light and dark something different more of an animation style which is simpler or flatter um, you start thinking about style once you have all the basics the line the shape the volume the believability of anatomy the character right all those things um, come first and then things like style and that style should fit how you're going to use the image
might notice that I'm using some purple for shadows and some greens for shadows in certain places thinking about you know complementary colors if it's daylight i tend to think that it's kind of like yellow light bouncing around and yellow lights think kind of you know often cast with a purple shadow um simple color theory like that um helps give the image a vibration you don't want to go too nuclear unless that's your thing but when i say nuclear i mean like really um jarring color differences but throw a little color in don't be afraid to throw some color in your shadows and avoid using black if you can or balance it out here we go this is what our guy looks like i threw in a background image from a photo that i took myself from trying to avoid using other people's images um you know I'm a neighborhood guy, he's a neighborhood guy. This is an image of my neighborhood. The gesture and pose is him kind of leaning on something, but you know, didn't show that in the image. Yeah, so line, shape, form, texture, light direction, atmosphere, style, all those things kind of help you build towards an image. Observe, check out what's going on. Thanks for watching this video. Tune in to more from Vexa University where we look at some of the basics of not only how, but why we draw and make art and talk about things as abstract as speculative fiction and as concrete as observational drawing. This is Barrington for Vexa University. I'm out.